Hello zoologists of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook and thank you so much for tuning into the 13th episode of our Beast series. Today we have a really cool one in store for us. I think thematically this is just an amazing creature. Today we're going to be taking a look at the giant fly, which as with most of these, is a pretty good descriptor of what it is. The giant fly is found in the Dungeon Master's Guide, and it is considered to be a CR0 creature that provides 10 experience on a kill. Now, let's take a look at this giant fly's stats so we can talk about it a little bit. So, it is actually considered to be a large beast and is unaligned, so it's pretty freaking big. I love it. Its AC is 11, it has 19 hit points, calculated by rolling 3d10 and adding 3, it has a normal speed of 30 feet and a fly speed of 60 feet, man this thing's great. Taking a look at its stats along the side, you'll notice, as with most insects, it's quite dumb and it's not very charismatic. That being said, this is actually quite strong, boasting a plus 2 in strength. Heck yeah. Taking a look at its senses here, you can see 60 feet of dark vision and a passive perception of 10. Now, I would like to say it has some cool attack, but it really doesn't. Much like the frog, the giant fly doesn't have any way of attack. That being said, I think it would be super cool to have a low-level adventuring party be tasked with killing a bunch of giant flies located in the inn's cellar in exchange for a free night's lodging and meal the next day. I think that would be a super great low-level adventure to get newer players orientated in combat and moving around. Just because the fly has such an impressive speed, you could really show them how important battle battlefield control is. And since they don't deal any damage, you won't have to worry worry about TPKing them, and you could potentially throw a lot of flies their way at once without worrying about action economy too, too much. That being said, let me know how you would use them in your game. I'm really am curious to see what you guys can come up with. That being said, if you have any thoughts, questions, ideas, concerns, please put them down beneath in the comments section, and just let me know what you're thinking. That being said, I hope you have a great day, and as always, happy studying, my friends.